Are you afraid to ride your scooter on the road? This video will show you how. Pasok intro. Let me park it. Let me park it. Park, park. Get, get, park it. Park, park it. Let me, let me park it. Park, get, park it. Let me, let me park, park it. Get, get, get. What's up, Hello. Caballeros? And here we go. We're gonna be having the week two, week two for the Andros progress. Yeah. So technically updates. Yes. What we're gonna be doing um, is asking him for updates, for improvements, and what happened with the assignments. Yun ang, uh... And also, the things you've heard before the intro. We're gonna be teaching you the tips and tricks while you're driving on the road. Mm -hmm. While using your... Electric scooter. Alright, so Leandro, let's get it on. Ate na tayo mga kabalyeros to check the goals and accomplishments na binigay natin for Leandro during week one. So, kamusta naman ang aking apat na task? Ginawa mo ba? Yeah, actually, apparently, hindi ko nagawa yung isa. Okay. So, that's, that's my misunderstanding. Akala ko, di pa ako pwede mag-gear to. Pero yung unang apat, ay unang tatlo sa apat, nagawa ko naman. Which are yung pag-download ng Strava, um, relief, pag-record ng rides gamit yung dalawang app na yun at simultaneously. In total, oh? 500 meters. So, yun yung pang-apto. At ano ang pang-apat na hindi mo nagawa? Yung mga apat na hindi ko nagawa, to run on gear too. Feeling ko kasi yan ay medyo kabado pa ako for that. Dahil dyan, itatagtag natin yan para okay, sa ating okay, week 2. Okay. Yan naman ang i-explore natin on week 2 si gear 2. Okay. Pumingon okay. naman tayo sa dalawang tasks ni Miko. Pasok? Yung tasks ni Miko, yung pumps, tsaka yung to balance for 15 seconds straight. So nagawa ka naman siya, actually hindi lang 15 seconds, ginawa ko siya 15 minutes per day. On day 1, Pukos ako dun sa humps, tsaka dun sa, dun sa 15 seconds na straight na nakatayo, na, na, na umandar. But after day one, parang may familiarity na agad eh, since nabanggit ko nung first uh, video no, na nag-board sports naman ako, so yung balance ko very, I think okay na, or I would like to think okay na nag-bike din naman ako. So after I got that balance, everything felt familiar. So, hindi ko na nakikita ang gawin lang siyang 15 seconds. Wala na siyang sense for me to stick with that. So, ginawa ko 15 minutes per day para at least may mga nuances ako na feel or sinusubukan ni try within those 15 minutes. Such as, tinry kong on day 3, I think, or day 4, tinatry ko na to be as close to the side as possible with, you know, a very steady flow. Hindi ko pa siya nagagawa ng sobrang steady kapag may turns. But I feel like I'm getting there, no? Every day ko siya practice every day ko na nun record Very helpful yung dalawang apps. Kasi uh, makikita mo yung progress mo from, from the previous day. Kung gaano ka bilis yung average ride mo, kung gaano ka tagal ka nag-ride. And uh, yung mafe-feel mo rin kung, kung gaano ka naka-comfortable sa steady speed. Nag-pay attention din ako sa braking. After, I guess, 15 minutes nga, you know, every day. You'll break a lot. Yun, smoother brakes. As agreed naman, no, yung, yung first week. So, I feel like operating the electric scooter is what I really focused on. Hindi ko muna inisip yung road safety, no? Kasi... You did it on a uh, private road? Ah, uh, inside, the, inside the private complex, no? Although, may mga cars na rin naman dun. On day one, as in, kapag may nasa lupong ang car, mitigil talaga ako. But along, around day six, day seven, ganyan. Sinusubukan ko na lang mag-slow down Kasi for sure, in my mind, pagdating ng week 2 Yun na yung iisipin ko eh How to interact nga with other road users So, kahit sa private road May mga road users na rin Pay attention lang yung bell nga Yung paggamit ng bell Yun, iniisip ko na rin yun uh, Anticipating kung ano yung discuss natin mga men And transitioning na tayo para sa ating discussion sa mga bagong tips and tricks para kay Leandro at para sa inyong mga kabalyeros na hindi pa ganun kasanay mag-electric scooter. Let's get it on. And this is the first part of the video for road awareness. I'm going to be teaching you how to go to the road first before actually going to it. So, first things first, we have three categories that we're going to cover. 
first and foremost, checking how to check your scoop. It's roadworthy. Number two, if you are roadworthy, of course, your safety gears and all that. And number three, is the sky roadworthy? Because electric scooters are not here to swim. Let's go with the bullet point number one. What things that you need to check in your scooter before going to the road? Do you have any idea? Like, no. what's the first thing you're gonna look? No, man. Basically, I am clueless. Touch a scooter for the first time two weeks ago. Barely could drive it. I don't know the, what to check, but to be fair, I haven't been on the road yet. So, oh. technically, I'm a bit safe. First thing to check, of course, is your battery capacity. Because you're not gonna go to the road with an empty battery, right? Right, yeah. So turn on your scooter, and once you turn on your scooter, there are two things that you need to check. Number one, does it work? So normally what I do when I'm checking my scooter for viability, I normally just lift it up, get a bench, lift up the rear wheel, and check if it runs. So that's first thing. If your scooter needs to run first, right? Now, checking the bolts in each wheel, if it's all tight and having not capped is actually a really good addition to your safety. Second, does your horn work? In this case, you only have a bell. But if you do have a horn, test the horn. Your safety is always the first thing. Check the brakes, they all work. And yeah. once all of that is done, last but certainly not the least, like what you just did, check if the locking mechanism works. Okay, cool. Right? Yeah. So make sure that everything in your scooter is up and running. All right, now part number two, yourself. First and foremost, safety worried. gears. We have the helmet. Now. There is different types of helmets that you can click in the i button right here where we're discussing different types of helmets that you can use for scooters. Now, specifically for this model, I think this runs about 50 kilometers per hour if I'm not mistaken. So this type of helmet is actually really good. Now, some people just wear a helmet, but for more caution, for more safety, in this kind of a fast of a scooter, please do have knee and arm pads, right? Where he does not have one, so you must get one. Okay. <laughs> So, from. do you have any questions about safety gears that you want to like discuss? Aside from helmets and elbow pads, anything else? Like, are there is there a specific apparel or like, could I just wear anything I want? Well, there is additional apparels that you can actually get, which is uh, when you're riding at night, you can also get reflectors. That is also nice to have. You can also have the reflector that actually has a turn signal at the back. That's okay. also available uh, in the market that you can buy. I think it's around uh, 1,000 pesos if I'm not mistaken in the Lazada market. You can check it out. You can also have additional features in your uh, scooter itself for additional purposes like turn signals if you want to have one or lights in the front you can have one of those. That can also indicate road safety as well. As long as you're safe and your scooter is safe, that's all that matters. Now let's go to part number three, which is, is the weather good? Not all scooters are waterproof, or at least most of them are actually water resistant, but we don't want to risk that because if your scooter broke down, especially the battery, it's not going to be pretty cost. And uh, batteries cost ranging from at least lowest 10,000 and the highest of 70s to 80,000. Really depends on how big or small your battery is. So check the weather, check what time you're leaving at your home and then what time you're going back to see if there are drizzles, if there's hairy rain. Mostly, that's all there is to it. If you check all those boxes, you're ready to go to the road. Now we'll go back to Bryce to tell you all about the other topics in the next part. And here we go, Caballeros, for our part two. Thank you for that wonderful part one. <laughs> Na straight English. Alright, <laughs> Night Wizard Arvin. <laughs>
gigilid before we can cross. So, hihintay muna natin mag red light para makakross tayo sa street safely. And that applies sa mga beginners like you. Okay, okay. Yan, kasi napaka-safe nun compared to number two. Yung number two naman natin mga kabalyeros is you have to keep left. Ito yung mga majority ng mga experienced riders na, na ginagawa. Kasi ang ginagawa nila, they go straight ahead, sticking to the left, kasi they are going left. And also, using their left foot, lifting their left foot out like this. Para maging signal, nakakaliwa sila. So, usually, ginagawa yun ng mga experienced riders na so we are looking forward to maging experience ka na rin. Okay. Next time. Alright. All right. So yun yung second option natin mga kabalyeros para makakaliwa tayo ng mas mabilis. But if hindi pa nga tayo experience at medyo beginner pa tayo, it's better for you to do option one. Which is? Cross the pedestrian lane. Find the nearest pedestrian lane and? Cross the pedestrian lane. Um, see. Okay. Let's go. Any <laughs> questions for our number two? Paano kung walang pedestrian lane? Kapag wala kang pedestrian lane, find the nearest footbridge. Since, hindi naman ganun kabigat si Ronin X Mini. But, kapag dual hub na mga kabalyeros, meaning experience na kayo, you have to do option 2. Dahil hindi nyo na mabubuhat ang inyong napakabigat na electric scooter <laughs> sa footbridge. Okay. Alright? Alright. So, meaning, Pwede ko pala siyang yaket like to MRT station across the other side? Yes! As long as kaya mong akyatin ng Mount Kamuning, you can go up to any hurdles along the way. Alright. Hindi ko sure if, if it's still on topic mo, but medyo nabanggit yung MRT mo. Can yes! I, can I bring it in the train? Yes, you can! All kinds of trains. LRT, MRT, LRT2. PNR, not sure. <laughs> Before kasi inalaw nila, Early pandemic, but uh, later pandemic, hindi na. So, wag mo muna ito try sa PNR. Depende rin kung gano'ng kalaki. So, nasa inyo na yung kabalyeros. Pero mga kabalyeros dyan na nag-PPNR ngayon na nakapag-try ipasok ang kanyang electric scooter, let us know in the comments. Makakatulong yan para sa ating mga kabalyeros na nanonood ngayon. Anything else? What if I run out of battery? The best thing to do? is grab a ride. Okay, okay, okay. Kasi yun din yung tekniko. Shoot Kapag na lang sa compartment. Yes. Actually, ito applicable to mga kabalyeros from entry-level electric scooters to mid-end electric scooters. Pwede nyong ipasok yan sa sedan, sa trunk. But kapag nagpapapumapasok na tayo sa medyo high mid-end to high end. And supreme end. And super, super duper <laughs> end high. <laughs> Kailangan SUV na kasi mabigat na siya. At meron din yung mga super duper high na na sobrang bigat hindi nyo siya masasamahilalagay sa SUV kung wala kayong pulley dahil sobrang bigat na niya masakit na sa likod kailangan hashtag weeped yes kailangan tatlong tao bago mapuwat yung scooter so may mga ganong instances kabalyeros pero majority sa mga nanonood ngayon is beginners so no worries magagana mga electric scooters din nyo pero lahat pa ng electric scooters pwede ito okay? pwede lahat kahit gano'ng kabigat kahit gano'ng kabigat walang exemptions all stand up electric scooters have a folding mechanism unless sira na yung folding mechanism <laughs> or unless si customize mo siya nagawing fix na yung yes. unit because I had that one before huwag nyo nang ngita no <laughs> I think that's all my questions for now transitioning to our part 3 for Miko let's go alright alright <laughs> bye bye ba ng tao ka usa <laughs> for our part 3 of course we're gonna be of course providing you some insights on how to interact with other road users and of course pedestrians kasi technically categorized pa rin tayo as, pa, as a pedestrian eh. okay. pa rin tayo how do we interact with all of these or all of them pala sa tao sila okay so number one uh, doon muna tayo sa mga pedestrians na kagaya natin so of course as pedestrians pag nasa sidewalk tayo it is a customary should I say or basic etiquette ayan na maglakad tayo uh, not to ride your electric scooter even yung mga naka-bicycle yun ang ano yun ang gawain talaga never ever ride your electric scooter kapag nasa sidewalk or kapag tatawid ng pedestrian lane 
Okay, alam niyo yung dapat mga kabaleros kasi kung hindi niyo ginagawa yon, shoutout sa inyo. <laughs> it's about time for you to change. Next, kapag nasa bicycle lane tayo, yan, how to interact with other bicycle lane users. Although sa Pilipinas, alam mo naman natin may mga matitigas ng ulo sa shoutout sa mga kamote na gumagamit ng bicycle lane. So yan, shoutout sa inyo. Pero ideally, the users of uh, bicycle lanes are supposed to be bicycles, electric scooters, and other personal mobility vehicles or devices. Kapag mayroong nasa hanapan, we just simply follow them. Huwag mo silang bubusinahan, huwag mo silang yung overtake in a not so nice way. Road etiquette, laging kaliwa pag mag-overtake. So laging your left, yeah. Pag kamote, your road. <laughs> your road, you know? Your road, you know? No? <laughs> Laging sasabihin natin, ano, um, ganun, pwede ka sumigaw, or if you want, you can use your bicycle then. Kung hindi ako marinig sa your left, kasi minisigaw talaga ako, parang hindi ako nakakagulat uh, ng ibang bicycle lane users, ang uh, sinasabi ko, Whoop! 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 It depends kasi, pero dun muna tayo sa basics, or dun tayo sa important. Oh, okay. Ano ka pang isa eh? Ano? Yamete. Ah, Yamete! Yeah, Tsota mali ka na sa <laughs> Hindi <laughs> pala yung pagkatuwaan na lang yun. <laughs> Pero minsan kinakailangan. So kapag sobrang ingin ng kalsada, kailangan mo ng high pitch para marinig. Nga pala, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood kung saan ko ginamit ang Yeah, that's what I'm going to do this one! Busing na, click the eye button right here on the upper right corner of your screen. <laughs> Alright, so moving on tayo, no? So maliban sa paggamit ng bicycle lane, eh, nga pala, speaking of bicycle lane, may ano yan, may preferred speed yan. So, if I'm not mistaken, that is 25 kilometers per hour. I ideal na sundin natin yung speed talaga ng bicycle lane kasi syempre, again, nakahalo natin sa bicycle lane ay mga nagbibisikleta. And actually, it's quite fast for a bicycle. Do you have questions? Yes. I go. So, nabanggit kanina, ano, na pwede tayo sa mga major roads basta merong bike lane. So, hindi lahat merong bike lane. Correct. Sa ngayon, hindi pa lahat yung bike lane. What if? Malaya yung destination punta ka pa rin niya kahit kung common way. Mm, mm. Hahanap ka ng route na may bike lane lahat. Ganun. Okay, that's Or, a very good point. Okay. okay, that's a very good point. So for as long as, uh, ang ideal sana, makahanap ka ng route na may bike lanes. Although, the good thing right now is, uh, marami sa mga major roads, eh, ninyalagyan ng bike lanes. Kung wala man, you stick on the side of the road. Always on the outer most lane. So yun yung parahan para makita mo yung nasa likod mo. Lili yes. Oo, oh, kami. Nasaanay kami ng lili. <laughs> <laughs> And it takes a lot of practice then. But uh, you'll get used to it. Which is actually, we're going to go to the next part. Alright, so with that, let's proceed to the next part. We're going to show the tasks for week 2. So let's go! And we are here now on our last segment, which are the assignments that I'll be giving our friend right here for week number 2. Now, there's only one, but there's so many things you're going to do. I want you to do your own self-diagnostic before going out. So you're going to take a film of yourself or vlog yourself testing everything in your scooter. Do you remember all of them? Yep. So what's the first thing you need to do? Check your power. Check your power. Make Check sure your it, brakes. No, make sure it runs. Yeah. So you put a bench under your wheel, under your board. Make sure that the wheel runs. And there you go. What's next? Check your bolts and screws. That's, a, that's good. Next. Um, and then check your bells and brakes. Check your bells and brakes, yeah. So all you have to do is vlog that for each day and see if you can do that flawlessly without flaw or at least... Oh, you actually missed one. The... The locking mechanism. All right, you right. have to check whether it's all secured and all sealed up. So I want you to actually fold your scooter at home and always practice to open up your scooter and fold it back down. Okay. And always check if it's secured or not. That way it will stay in your mind and you will always do it before you go to the road. That's my assignment for today. On to Bryce. And for the part two of Tasks Assignments for Leandro. Okay, part two. Don't say hindi mo na accomplish earlier, which is <laughs> doing gear two while riding. That's the first one. And that's the second one is you have to accomplish four U-turns <laughs> sa public road. Public right. road. Yeah. Four U-turns. Kailangan naka-video yan, naka-vlog yan. Papakita natin yung mga kabalyeros on week three. Kung na-accomplish ba niya, kinabahan ba siya, or kung ano man mangyari, dapat na U-turn on major roads. 
Let's go! And moving on na tayo sa ating third assignment, Nico, let's go! Ayun na nga, and we are here sa part 3 ng assignments, courtesy of me, ayan. So related dun sa shinare natin sa iyong knowledge earlier, uh, your assignment number 1, and I think this is my only assignment, kasi ang dami nilang tasks sa iyo. So, dahil mabait naman ako. Alright! <laughs> Um, I think you need to find Speaking of public road kasi namin kay Bryce Diba sabi niya kailangan ka makapag turn Speaking of which Dahil uh, usage of public road na tayo And sharing of bike lane I need you to ride sa public road Pero dapat na sa bike lane ka okay. And of course apply yung interaction With other um, bike lane users So yung sisigaw ka ng Your left, your right Magamit ng bell Para malaman mo kung anong nag-work sa'yo na signal Kapag mag-overtake ka And yung misong paggamit ng bike lane Yung So, that's my assignment for you Alright Alright, so Terrifying <laughs> Let's go <laughs> Public crowd na tayo At dahil dyan Balik sa'yo <laughs> Rice And for our question of the day What other tips do you want us to tell you about? Write down in the comments below Cause we want to know And that's it for today mga kabalyeros See you on the next one. Peace.